A bright future could be ahead for the Diamond after City Council voted unanimously to approve a developer for the Diamond District project. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug is live in Richmond tonight with reaction to that news. Sierra. Well, Eric, this large scale mixed use development project involves a bunch of different entities, but one thing's for sure it's a big deal for baseball fans. A grand slam for local baseball fans at last night's Richmond City Council meeting. A unanimous vote puts us one step closer to breaking ground on the city's Diamond District development project. Todd Parney Parnell, chief executive officer of the Flying Squirrels, overwhelmed with excitement. Boom! <laughs> According to Major League Baseball standards, the Squirrels staying in Richmond was contingent on the team getting a new revamped stadium by 2025. Last night's vote, approving of the $2.4 billion development proposal, officially gets the ball rolling. It was an emotional night. This is it. Like, this is happening. Uh, and last night confirmed that. RVA Diamond Partners, now responsible for developing the 67-acre Diamond District. Parnell says keeping the project close to home is a home run for Richmond. They're local. Jason lives here. He's the leader of this group. He knows what we mean. He knows what VCU means. He knows what the needs are for the whole entire project. Developers promise to hire a certain percentage of workers for the project directly from the city. To Parnell, it's about more than baseball. It's about community and solidarity. We just all have to keep our eye on the finish line and know that what we're doing is for the good of everyone in Richmond and the, re in the region. I hopped out of bed today and basically skipped to work. Now, I normally do that, but I skip with a little more earnest today. There's still a long way to go before the full project is complete, but developers hope to have the stadium portion done by spring 2025, just in time to meet Major League Baseball's deadline. Live in Richmond, Sierra Krug, 8 News.